Welcome to video 30 of series 3, and in this video I'll write the pause toggle script. And what it has is a method called toggle pause, and it subscribes to two events on the Game Manager Master. And what it will do is it adjusts time, the speed of time. Uh, so for example, uh, if not paused, then time is at a normal speed. If paused, then time is at still, so it's zero speed. So let's go ahead and write it. I'll make a new folder first of all, and I'll call this Game Manager Scripts. And inside of it, I'll make a new script, and I'll call this Game Manager Pause Toggle. Or I'll just call it Toggle Pause. Sounds better. Okay and I'll attach it to the game manager, open it up, convert the line endings, change the namespace, it's S3, I get rid of these methods here, put in the void on enable method void on disable then my own void set initial references and a void uh, toggle pause Also need uh, two variables as well. So the first is a reference to the game manager master itself. So game manager master, and I'll just call this uh, the game manager master. Okay, and then the next is a boolean. Private bool is paused. All right, and I need to set up a reference here. So the game manager not that one, game manager master is get component game manager master. It's on the same game object, so this script is on the same game object, so I just need to say get component a game manager master. I don't need to find the game manager game object, of course. Okay, and in the toggle pause method, this is where I'll affect time, and it's pretty simple. If is paused, Then time dot time scale. This is what you use to affect the speed of time is equal to one, which is normal, and is paused is equal to false. So if the method is called while uh, the boolean is paused is true, then carry out the following. Else, uh, then the time dot time scale is equal to zero. So that's time is no longer moving, the game will pause anything, all update functions, fixed update, they'll all not be running anymore. And I'll just say is paused is equal to true. Okay, so that's my toggle pause method. And I want it to be subscribed to two events. So I'll go ahead and do that. First of all, set initial references. Make sure I call that, otherwise it's not going to get set and there'll be errors. Then subscribe to the events here. So a uh, game manager master dot, um, let me think, it was the uh, menu, yep, menu uh, toggle event that I'm interested in. And I'll, uh, we'll have this method subscribed to it. So toggle pause, done. And of course, and unsubscribe. Uh, instruction as well. And again, just to speed things up a little bit, I have here the inventory UI toggle event that I'm interested in as well. So if either of these events happen, then I want uh, the pause to get toggled, okay? Which makes sense. So if you bring up, well, the way I'm, well, the way my game is, if I bring up the menu, then the game will pause. If I bring up the inventory, then the game will pause, giving the player time to think. 
and that's it so this at the moment nothing is going to happen the script is written now it's established uh, it is just waiting to get used it's waiting for something to call the events on the master script in order for that method to run uh, so that's it for this video uh, keep going onwards so in the next video i'll write another part of the game manager system thanks for watching